What is going on everyone? Derek here today I'm with Tyler aka that civic kid and by the way, how's the channel going? It's going good. Going, it's going, it's going good. very good. I just looked at his channel and he has like a video that has 5,000 views and some other ones that have like a thousand and stuff and he's gaining subscribers which is awesome So if you haven't subscribed to him go subscribe to him real quick. I like totally choked on spit But if you haven't subscribed to him go subscribe to him real quick You can find his link in the description that civic kid drop him a sub He's building his 99 civic em1 so I know how long you guys have been waiting for another redo blue episode So let's just get on into it first stop my house your house Guy No shit shit. That's the first stop but that's not the first step. First step is we have to charge, charge blue battery. because the battery's dead again. So, so you don't have to keep it charged. Bitch, I sound you like this right here. These are new rotors and there's brakes down there as well. And I can't drive it because one of my brake pads is like completely gone and it chewed into the rotor, which I'm going to show you when we're doing my oil. So that's a reason why I haven't drove. Dro so that's like the main reason why I haven't been driving blue and also the weather, it's kind of cold and I hate driving that car when it's cold even though she loves the cold, sounds great, cold starts off. But first things first guys, we're gonna get blue charged up. You're gonna call me a dumbass for this but I kind of have to grab a gas can. We have to go to the gas station and get gas for blue because I left enough gas in no, there but I don't have enough gas for her to keep running to keep it charged so... No, 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 no. <sighs> Dude, what? You don't know my life. I saw you siphon it to put it in your daily. <laughs> I just exposed you. What did uh, I do? You were siphoning out of the uh, Mustang to put in your daily driver because you're like, oh man, I can't make it to gas station. Like, Alright, he, he's full of shit, but... No, I'm not. I, said, I even have a video of it. <laughs> oh, do you? Yeah. I'm going to play his video clip right here. Dude, we got to get you to take it. Notice how he's trying to plan a video clip, but no, not happening. Yeah. Actually, that would be pretty funny. Look at this video clip. <laughs> but yeah, enough with the yip yapping. We're going to get to work. So we got to get this hood popped. And honestly, I don't know why my car dies. And I'm assuming it's because of the cold because it's been sitting for like, how many, a month maybe? Maybe a month and a half, I don't know. So that's probably why, because it hasn't been started. But we gotta get this thing charged up. And don't look at my engine bay, it's pretty hideous. I said don't look at it. So we have to hook this up to the battery, obviously, because the battery is what holds your charge. So when you turn your key in here, ignition, the motherfucker will start. This extension cord, that's ridiculously long. You can actually pierce your ear with it. Ow! Alright. <laughs> Need some white tiling. Black goes to black, red goes to red. Oh, I thought red goes to black. I've done that plenty of times. <laughs> so we got that good, and then you're just gonna plug this in. And there we go. We gotta turn her on. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on, it's not working. Is it not plugged in? <laughs> Tyler, <laughs> you idiots! <laughs> that was a good one, wasn't it? Knuckle. <laughs> So while this is charging, we have to run to AutoZone. I have to get oil and an oil filter. Then I have to get gas for the car. And we're gonna run the tilers to get a light so you guys can see what we're working on. And yeah, so we'll just let blue charge up and we'll go run these errands. You need a Band-Aid? So we've actually decided to come to Advanced Auto Parts because AutoZone is like on the other side of the street and then require us to do a U-turn and we're just coming for oil so they obviously have what we need. This is going to be really cool because when I run inside I'm going to actually use this new little rig we got. Um, it's a GoPro like with a skeleton case and a mic on top of it so I'm super excited to see what kind of quality this produces and let me know in the comments down below if I should start making like more vlogs with this contraption over this big old contraption because this thing is heavy as shit and this thing honestly is like... It looks cool and it's, it's it's lighter. So we're gonna run in here, we're gonna get what we need, and then we're gonna go back to my house and get this project started. All right. Okay, so we gotta find oil. I have to get coolant. And yeah, I gotta get a bunch of stuff while I'm here, Tyler. I don't know, how's this mic sound? It's quiet, everybody's probably like, why is this guy talking to himself? This is usually what I get right here. This stuff. That's usually what I get. 5W30, there we go. That's exactly what I need. Or six quarts. No. That's five. There's six. I get six quarts just in case because I always like to keep a quart of oil in the back of my car because you never know. So we're going to get six quarts of this. So I'm going to go with the Royal Purple. This is what I have in the car now. I always use this because I've heard it's like the best oil you could possibly put in your car. But you know how that goes. A lot of people have their own opinions. So we need this. 
and an oil filter, and I need some coolant. What's that? I got some grab it with you. Oh, you got it. Shortness for the win. It's a big ass gas tank. It's five gallons. We got our coolant. So we were just walking down the aisle and this caught my eye and it's a car cover. Now, I have more redo blue episodes coming, so with some of the things I'm gonna do, I'm gonna need this. So I'm just gonna pick this up for temporary because I'm gonna buy a really nice one eventually and hopefully get this warehouse. We won't have to worry about that. Nope. So yeah, I'm going to get this car cover because, like I said, I have other things coming. And I might buy some hubcaps for the Camry. Or that might be a redo Camry episode. Redo Yoda. Get them, get them over there. <laughs> get some spinners and put them on the Camry. <laughs> um, and I'm going to need a, um, an oil filter as well. But right now, getting all this stuff. And I need an oil filter. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to grab. Best one you got came here expecting just to buy oil. <laughs> I'm leaving with a gas tank, oil, car cover, coolant, more oil, oil filter. I'm gonna be spending a lot of money. How much do you think it's gonna be? I'm guessing, wait, let me think. I'm gonna say 143. What are we at? You've been $3 off, Bro, why did you just do 140? Yeah. Ah, I should have stuck with 143. I'm 146. But that's all with maintenance on your car. You got to spend the money. Yeah, you got to keep it running, right? <laughs> yeah. Like my junk, my junk just got hit and it was parked. It got totaled and it was parked. Hot, Two o'clock in the morning. All right, where'd you drive? Yeah, one of the new stock coolers. $143. Not as much as I was expecting. Like, I changed it because, you know, he kind of scared me. Have a good one. That's Hold it up a little more. Not that high, right there. All right, so 146 bucks. Got everything I didn't really need. Royal purple oil and the best oil filter I could get with a car cover and a gas can. What the fuck, Tyler? <laughs> Why'd you let me spend that much money? Hey, I told you you didn't need everything. He's like, uh, I'll just get it. Why not? It's all right. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, um, subscribe to that civic kid and dislike all his videos. Okay, yeah, so I kind of lied. I totally forgot I just spent $15 on a five gallon gas tank, gas jug. Five gallon fuck. gas tank. Five, fuck, five dude, I can't talk. Five gallon, five gallon gas, gas can. can. Can, can. Five, five. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's five gallon gas can. How hard is that? Five to gallon say? gas can. No, I, oh my God. I just said what you fucking said. <laughs> yeah, so I just spent $15 on a $5 gas. <laughs> But we'll see you at yo. Oh, oh my God! I almost <laughs> rear-ended someone. <laughs> Got our gas tank. Gas can. Damn it! It's not a gas tank. He gave you 3.7 gallons. Time to fuck some ass. <laughs> He's a stupid doof. How much should I spend for that gas can? 20 bucks, and, and it's, it's leaking. On the DSLR now. Let's hope she starts. So I don't know what the fuck just happened. It was charging for like two hours and it's just not turning over. I guess we'll let it charge some more. So we got the car started. I don't know what the deal was. We dumped the rest of the gas in the gas tank. I know it wasn't out of gas, but I don't know. It's probably just because it hasn't been started in so long. Car started. We're gonna let this run for a little bit. And I got everything right here that we need for tonight. So we're gonna get this going and we'll see you guys on the GoPro. How are we looking? Check on the throw quick. Get on with the camera to see if how are we looking. Good. No, you're good. Okay. So one thing real quick guys, if you're ever working on cars, be sure to never jack your car up and put it on jack stands when you have gravel. You do not want to do this. This is very unsafe and it's very stupid to be honest with you, but right now I don't really have a choice because I'm not gonna drive my car to the street and jack it up on the street. So it's either the grass, which is bad, and gravel, which is bad, because the gravel moves, obviously. So I'm just telling you guys, so don't be commenting down below saying, oh, you're a dumbass. I know I'm a dumbass. I'm just telling, I'm telling you guys right now I'm a dumbass for doing this. So you don't have to call me out on it. I'm already calling myself out. Beat you to it. But yeah, don't do that. Find some- I do it all the time. I'm kind of excited right now because I get to use my new socket set wrench my grandfather got me for Christmas. And it's actually like the deep well one, which is pretty cool. I've never actually seen these, believe it or not. So you have your socket, 
your socket wrench. Those and are the cool ones. Yeah, like if your bolt's super long, as you can see, it's hollowed through. So whatever, it's really neat. It's really cool. I've never even seen these before, to be honest with you. It's kind of a tight squeeze underneath here with me and Tyler. But um, what I like to do first is I like to pull the um, oil pan bolt. Now, a lot of people like pull the filter first or vice versa. It, I don't think it really matters, honestly. I personally pull the bolt. So we're going to pull the bolt, drain it into the oil pan here, get the oil pan out of here and um, put, position the oil pan underneath the oil filter, which is right there. And we have the oil filter clamp, which we'll need to fucking pull that off. And then after we do that, just vice versa, put the bolt back in, slap on the new oil filter, dump the new oil, start her up, let her run for a little bit, and pretty much that's it. So we're gonna pull this bolt. Okay. So you wanna get it all yeah. in? There you go. That is not not too bad. Too bad, but it doesn't look too good. I'm glad I'm doing this today. That's why you always have to maintain your vehicles because if you don't have a lot of oil in there, that's how you get a rod knock. And that's what the owner did before me. He didn't put oil in his motor. The motor got a rod knock and the shit blew two months of me owning it, which sucked. And we had to wait a whole eight months before I put another one in. Got a new 4.6 in there. So got to take care of this one. This one only has 52,000 miles on it. It has a lot of life left. So me and Tyler are going to jack this down real quick. And, um get the rest of the oil out because it's on a really like hefty angle right now just to be sure just to be safe we can get it all that gunky shit out and get that new purple royal in so this is like that for a few minutes so that was a very good idea of us leveling it out because we had the car jacked up a lot actually obviously if you jack it up all the oil is going to rush to one corner of the oil pan so that's dumping that's a good sign and there wasn't a lot of oil in there actually there was enough, but there wasn't a lot. And I don't know why, but up here, you're not gonna be able to really see with the GoPro because the angle tower is at, and I don't want the chance any oil getting on this GoPro, but you have your oil filter up here, and I'll show you what the new oil filter looks like so you have an idea, but um, for this, I have to use the oil filter clamp. And you know, the Mustangs, I'm very grateful because like this is probably one of the easiest cars I've ever changed oil in because the um, the oil pan bolt is right there and the oil filter is right there. I've changed the, um, I wanna say it was a 2012 Jeep Liberty and it was the absolute most pain in the ass vehicle I've ever done in my life. Like you just imagine the oil filter like in the middle of the car. So you have like all this bullshit right here and then the oil filter was in the middle and you couldn't reach it from the top and barely from the bottom like i had to like slide my hands through all this shit and like i i got lucky honestly i couldn't get one of these up there there's no way in hell of getting a fucking wrench so I, I just twisted as hard as i possibly could and i guess the manufacturer where it came from or fucking jeep where they sold the car didn't put it on tight enough because they probably hand did it themselves so they just got a hand tight and i was lucky enough to get it off but uh, i tell you what i'm so glad this car's easy because they, they do that shit on purpose, so you have to take your car into the shop to get an oil change. That's how they make a lot of their money, to be honest with you, because a lot of people won't go underneath their car and do it themselves. But we're going to pull this oil filter. That's going to drain all into here, and we're going to pop the new one on, and we'll get to that step after this. All right, guys, watch it drop on in Derek's face. All right, there we go. All right, sometimes with these things, they're a pain in the ass, and they're just a pain in the ass. Nothing else to it, but we got this. That's just how Mustangs are. Okay, as you can see, we're catching the leftover oil. Fuck, I'm stuck. Drop. Right now, what I'm gonna do, because I'm OCD as hell, I'm gonna grab a towel and I'm gonna wipe all this shit up. I know a lot of people that just leave it, but that ain't gonna be fly with me. So I'm gonna wipe this up. And you don't really need to watch me do that. but And I'm going to show you what you need to do with your new filter. And we're going to pop the new one on. So I'll see you guys out here. All right, so you... Oh, shit. So here's the old oil filter. And usually when I do this oil stuff, I don't know, like, if it really matters. But I try to get the most expensive stuff possible. Because I know typically that's not the case. That the most expensive is the best. But like I said, with this um, Royal Purple... This shit's expensive, but I've heard this is really good oil, and I've been running this for the past two oil changes now, so I stick with it. I like to stick with the same brand oil, but this is the first time I'm getting this K&N filter, and I'm not too sure if it's super good, but I do know with like the filters that there's a lot of them out there that have like the magnetic, um, that are magnetic, so they can catch like engine dust, they call it, whatever. But anyways, you have your old filter, 
in your new filter and I'm slinging oil but what you want to do is just like take some of this oil just go ahead and lube that up that was a little too much that's good but yeah that's all you need you want to make sure you get this on there pretty snug you don't want to tighten it ridiculously tight because it's not necessary so our new k and filter is now on and Tyler, if you would, please pass me my, my oil pan bolt. If any of you ladies are watching this video and you want to win your man's heart, buy them tools. Tools are the shit. All right, make sure this is snug on there. All right. That should be good. That's good to go. That's pretty much it. We um, pulled the oil pan bolt, drained the oil, got the filter off, put the new filter on. And important thing, please, when you do your oil changes, make sure you have a proper oil container, like I have an oil pan. You can use anything to catch your oil, but make sure you catch your oil and don't go dumping it in the grass. Just dispose of it right. We have a big ass barrel back there, dump our oil and when it's full, my dad takes it to his job because they have an oil disposable place. So he takes it there, but make sure you dispose your oil correctly. And now we're just gonna um, jack this down, let this down and fill her up and get her started. So let's get to it. does not know how to turn his phone on vibrate. Every time we're filming something, ding, 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 every time. And what I like to do, I put a towel around everything, because I, I just like to be safe like that. I don't like to dump everything around, just in case. So, I just take this, cover it up, because you never know. And that's the last thing you want is oil all over your engine, baby, because that would be a fucking mess, so. But see, it's purple. Who would have thought? Put that back on. She started right up. Awesome. Let's go back to the front of the car real quick. All right, so we just got done cleaning up everything. We took the oil, we dumped in this little can back there. We cleaned up everything. And now we're about to cut the car off and we're gonna check the dipstick to make sure the level of the oil is good. And if it's good, then we're gonna take it down the street and rip some donuts and uh, piss off his neighbors. <laughs> so let's sit in there for a second. Pull it out. Oh, we are golden. We're golden. Perfect. Looks like a good amount too, so. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's an oil change on the 1999 Mustang GT. Obviously, it's gonna be the same for almost every car out there. It's, I mean, unless you're a Tesla owner. I know one Tesla owner. He goes by the name of Jeffrey. <laughs> JR Garage. Yeah, I'm talking about you. But yeah, we're gonna go take it around the block. I'm excited, but I'm warning you now, you're probably gonna hear a lot of rotor like <laughs> It's because my rotor is fucked up. Yeah. So what I'm thinking about doing guys is I might go coilovers with the car. I was really thinking about doing bags. I just don't know if it's worth that kind of money to put onto this car. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of a new edge with bags even though my buddy Joey has the Mach 1 and it's sick. But um, yeah, I don't know. That's the route I want to take. And we're about to put that Civic kit on the spot. Let's see, see if he can drive a Mustang. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. What do you guys think? Think he's gonna stall out this heavy ass clutch? 50-50 right. chance that's gonna happen. God, oh my god, it's just like 20 pounds. I'm gonna stop. No, just take it smooth. Uh. It's, not, it's not bad. Break, you break, yeah, okay. Yeah. Careful. I don't fuck with Mustangs. I like a Civic. Alright, here we go. Nice and smooth. You got it. There you go. It won't bad at all. It's actually not that bad. Good lord, dude. Was it like a competition tr uh, clutch? <laughs> Give her uh, some gas. Well, everyone, that Civic kid, he did not stall out a Mustang. So all you Mustang guys, you have to go support my buddy Tyler now. So everybody, go check out his channel and subscribe. Like I said, he's building his 1991 Honda Civic EM1. And if you wanna go follow his channel, the link is in my description. He's honestly getting some good views. He's getting a little fan base going and you know, he's getting some subscribers, which is awesome. So if you wanna help him out, do me a favor, go give him a subscribe. That'd be sweet. All right, lock her up. 
sweet. Okay, and like I said, there's one more thing that I purchased today. Probably shouldn't have purchased, but it's gonna be good because it'll keep the sun off of blue. And what's that, Tyler? Boom. Let's Dark do color. it. All right, front's on. This fits perfect. Holy shit. All right, everyone, we got the car cover on here, and for $35, I cannot complain. I got it from Advanced Auto Parts. Um, if you guys are wondering, it's the medium-sized one. It fits the 1999 through 04 Mustangs perfectly, like, $35, that's gonna keep the sun off of it, you know. It's not, gonna, not the best material, but I can't complain. But anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap up today's Redo Blue episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know you guys were waiting so patiently for one, and I know it was just an oil change, but I tried to make it more fun for you guys. And I got plenty more coming your way, I promise you. Just, time's not on my side right now, honestly. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that like button, drop a comment if you wanna know anything. If, and most importantly, guys, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to my man, Tyler, right here, that Civic Kid. Link is in the description. Help him get the 500 subscribers, because I remember when I was at his spot, and it's crazy knowing that he's almost at like 300 already. But until then, We'll see you next time. Adios, amigos. Call that ballin'. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do? Penthouse, man, what a view. Fall back as I'm coming through with my whole team. They coming too. That's real. Too real. Motherfucker, tell me how you feel. I'm too good for my own good. I won't leak the album. I let it spit.